what's good everybody it's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson back at it again with another episode of the celebrity junk there's a young lady by the name of I am Gabby fe2 uh, she is on TikTok, and according to her bio she is a plus size model and uh, I believe a musician or a singer and so most of her content revolves around um you know dating her experiences on online and stuff i wouldn't necessarily call her a male basher that's not really her thing uh to be fair to her she does seem like a very nice young lady uh but she has standards that she expects men to have okay and um and, and one of those standards is you must pick her up or pay for an uber to wherever you're at i don't think that's too bad but this particular video she's saying that she's tired of men that can't afford her okay and um and she doesn't do 50 50 so what i need to do is i want to play her clip and then i'll come back and then we'll talk about it why can't a man just tell me that he can't afford me just say it don't make excuses don't say i need to pull my weight i need to do 50 50 i don't do that you're trying to demean me, make me feel bad because you just can't afford me. It's okay. There's a girl out there for you. Go get her. Okay. So you heard what she has to say. All right. Now I'm going to do some um, uh, full reactions on some of the other videos that she has on her channel. And like I said, I don't think that they're too bad. And this one is really not so bad. Okay. Um, except there is some delusion going on here in these TikTok streets. And, you know, and again, this is not to uh, shame anybody on their race or, or if their ethnicity or, or whatever the case may yield. But if you are mad that men can't afford you and you're seeing that they're making excuses and they're 50 50 kind of guys, well, you must also take into consideration where you're located i believe currently you're living in los angeles do you understand what's in los angeles young lady you are okay in a city it's an international city where women um are are beyond drop dead gorgeous it's huge i mean you're talking about la county not too far as orange county and you got riverside county I mean, women are, are are exceptionally beautiful and pretty. That's just the reality of what where, where we are. Okay, so the the men that you know have the options to go out and, and and really spend money, you know, you you may not be what you think you are. And again, this is not about you know I'm not making it about size or looks or anything like that. I'm just saying what you think you are, maybe you are not. Okay. And so because you're you're not appealing to those guys, you're trying to make it seem as, you know, it's these guys fault because the guys that I'm attracting to me are broke. Like if you go and listen to her TikTok videos, she has tremendous, a lot of stories where guys are like saying, well, hey, uh, you need to pay for your own like Uber to come see me. Um, like lawyers, you have guys that are like, you know, really not trying to take care of her like that. And in, in, in most of her videos, she's talking about these things. And I, I, I'm just sorry, you, you know, for the for the, the hot chicks on Instagram or OnlyFans, I mean, are you hearing that? You know, like most of these chicks who are appealing to guys that she wants to appeal to, they don't have to talk about, oh, can you can you fly me out? Of course they're gonna fly you out. Oh, can we go to Dubai together? Of course they're gonna take you to Dubai together. So what is it about you that is hindering you from getting those guys? And again, this is the, the, the delusion that we talk about in the dating world, people like Kevin Samuels used to expose it all the time. Is you want a certain kind of guy to be able to have the high value and have the, the, the stuff. And those guys typically, we know what kind of women they typically go for. Okay. And you're not reaching those, those kind of guys. The guys you are reaching don't feel that you should be paid for. So why is it that these guys are lying about not wanting to spend money on you? You have to do what's necessary to be in the market. For an example, here on YouTube, how would it sound if I came on this channel and said, uh, guys, why don't you support me? Like, you know, 
I, I, I get it. You know, you, 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 you like bullshit other YouTubers who are not me. Well, there's, there's plenty of channels for you to go to. You don't got to come here. You, you would sit there and you would think like, wow, this guy is insecure about himself. Like nobody owes you a listen. Nobody owes you their subscribership. Like that's completely insane. Like, who do you think you are? You know, like, so you're going to shame your subscribers because they don't listen to your content or because they don't subscribe to you. Like it's, you sound like a defeated person and you're delusional, but yeah, women can do this all the time. Women can go around talking about why do you guys can't afford me? All y'all want to do is 50, 50. Well, what, what, what are you doing to reach the guys that can't afford you? Or is it that the guys who can't afford you are saying no, and you know, they're saying no. So why are they saying no? Is it because they have more opportunities than just you? Ding, 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 ding. You know, you can't complain about how the market is. You have to adapt to the market. It is called competition. It is the one word that women inherently despise all over the world. Competition. No guy who has the ability to pay a lot of money, to have a nice stuff, have nice cars, to you know have worked on themselves for year after year after year be in a city like los angeles no no guy's gonna settle for any woman if he doesn't have to all right you're competing against bbw models all day and you're competing against conventional models all day you're competing against the cute chick at the, the starbucks you're competing against the the top of the line ladies in the world and if you don't like that then maybe you should stop dating and the fact that you're always online dating is something that's it's interesting, right? Like the, a lot of ladies who are on Tinder and I get it. There can be some beautiful women on Tinder too, but usually women who are really, really attractive don't need to do Tinder. Why guys are already going to holler at beautiful women anywhere in the world. They're going to get elite guys talking to them. They don't need to be on Tinder. Some of the best looking chicks are probably on Instagram or maybe on TikTok or something like that. I don't know. But on Tinder, it's not necessary. They have guys that are wanting to talk to them all the time. But now you see these ladies are on Tinder for a reason. You're talking about Tinder dates because you can't meet those kind of guys. They won't come up and talk to you for whatever reason. And it's not their fault that they won't come up and talk to you or they don't want to spend money on you. It's a personal problem, okay? You, you, you're, if you're in school, you're getting D's and C's. What do you need to do to adjust to studying? You need to do something else, something else different. You need to practice more. Maybe you need to study more. You need to read more. So you need to be able to become what these guys want. And if you're not what they want, you're going to be out here, you know, trying to shame people as to why they can't pay for everything and give you all the money. When the reality is a cop out that these guys really, you're not interested in me. They're not interested. And just say that they're not interested. But guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I really appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe at the bell. Check out the first clip at the top. And as you know, the before remains at all-time high. I'm out.